that's it. They're lined up for this Jet Monty International and they break away. And uh, through the first furlong, it's Relief Pitcher who is the first to show. In the groove, steadied at the start. Terriman is uh, last but one. And as they progress through the first furlong, it's Relief Pitcher leading. Dashing Blade taking a fearsome hold show second. Elmar Mulwell plays third. Missionary Ridge four. Dole Paul five. Terriman six. Then Negligent Batsuf. And in the groove is the uh, running order as they come down to the mile pole. And it's relief pitcher by a length and a half. The dashing blade in second, that's in the purple. The horse with a noseband showing third in the blue, Elmar Mull. And then Missionary Ridge in four. Dolpaw Green racing five. Terryman Green hat in six. The Grey Philly negligent shows seven. Bats who've held up uh, to come with that customary smooth run as they pass the seven has just a uh, one behind him. And that one is in the groove, is going to have to come with a run too. But from the front, finds it for the first time, relief pitcher leading. From Dashing Blade second, and they pass the sixth pole, then El Malmore racing third, and Dolpore, and then Missionary Ridge on the outside, wide, tracking that one is Negligent. On the inner of Negligent, the grey is Terryman, then Batsuf, and in the groove. So it's going to be a sprint, this. They've passed the five, halfway in the Judd Monty International, and Dashing Blade just uh, ranges alongside Relief Pitcher. They head for home. Dolpore in green comes wide. Missionary Ridge gets a view of the front. Negligent on the extreme left. In behind them, Batsuf is travelling well, maybe looking for room as they come down to the three. And it's Dashing Blade with the nose. Ban Relief Pitcher runs a big race next to the rails. Dolpore in green. In behind them, Batsuf is making a, a great stride and really tucked in. Willie Carson can't find room on El Mal Mall as they race down past the two. And uh, here on the wide outside comes in the group in the grey and red. They've got a first and a half to go and from last to third with Steve Gawthorn on in the groove has got first one on them El Marmol was boxed in now finds the room Batsu starts the sprint but in the groove and Steve Gawthorn surely has it El Marmol next to the rails rallying Batsu gets a place of best but it's in the groove in the groove wins the Judd Monty from El Marmol close to third Batsu and Terry and uh, Terry Mon then behind these doll four a gap of six the missionary ridge we leave pitcher negligent and last of all was Dashing Blade. Confidently ridden Steve Cawthon. Steve Cawthon came from last to first uh, to win this on this filly in the groove who has this remarkable uh, track record here at York. This one in the colours of Mr. Brian Cooper, trained at Whispery by David Ellsworth, who took this filly to Newmarket to give her a gallop. Steve Cawthon rode her today, and uh, he's a double for him this afternoon. Second is number nine, Elmar Mull, ridden by uh, Willie Carson, and it's close for third with Batsuf and also uh, in that uh, close place for third is, well, it just escaped me for the moment, I'm afraid. But anyway, it's in the groove. The winner, uh, quite a remarkable race. And in as much as I thought at one stage that Batsuf was going to get there, that was uh, really going well, but he's got no sort of room at all. Elmar Mull uh, didn't get the best of runs. And for my money, it was Steve Cawthon who actually won the race here. Mark you, in the groove did help. The Eclipse hoodoo continues, and extraordinarily, no Middle Eastern owner has ever won this race, even in its uh, Benson and Hedges days. No Arab has ever won the race, and uh, just see where Steve Cawthon comes from on In the Groove. There he is, last of all at this stage, and uh, Willie Carson definitely short of room in behind Dashing Blade and Relief Pitcher, who've been disputing the lead. They've had it now. Dolpore and Missionary Ridge go, go on. And now, here comes Steve, and in the groove accelerates so electrically that she almost gets in front too soon. Yeah, I'd imagine this was two furlongs out. Uh, hopefully we'll see the head-on in a minute, because Batshoof looked like he was just knocked out of his stride a little bit. I don't think it's affected the result. This filly's absolutely flown once Steve's shown her, uh, the front. I thought, like you, that maybe she'd hit the front a little bit sooner than Steve would have liked. Uh, but Al Mamoul had his chance and wasn't good enough. An amazing turn of foot. And we've said it so many times before, this is an amazing train of David Ellsworth because I'm sure that most people would have looked at this filly and thought, well, she's about three weeks away from having a foal. <laughs> and in fact, she was about three minutes away from winning another Group 1 race. Her third victory in three visits to York. She must love the place.